this is the beast. Hopefully it doesn't break down on us. That would be adventurous. All right, Kip, see you later. Ladies and gentlemen, we are off like a herd of turtles. <laughs> Look at all of our paraphernalia back there. We've got so much stuff with us, it's awesome. We are gonna go straight to a campsite and see if it's open. And if it is, we are going to just sleep in the van there for the night um, because there was a wolf attack like two days ago. A guy got drug out of his tent and like almost killed and stuff like that. So they put like a no soft camping which means like no tents, no hammocks, nothing like that. So that's unfortunate. Um, and this campsite that we're going to has like pictures on their website of bears like just strolling through their campsite. <laughs> it's pretty interesting. Um, but no, we're gonna stop off there, reserve a campsite if we can. If not, we'll figure something out. Then we're gonna cruise to Moraine Lake, grab some awesome pictures, figure out where we wanna go in the morning, um, and then probably call it a day because we got at least four hours there. Um, and then we'll see what we'll do the next day. We're not totally sure. We're kind of still planning it out because it looks like it might rain, which is really unfortunate. But yeah, it feels weird driving this van. It, like brings back the, the old days of driving that Astro. Oh, hold that thought. Gotta turn. All right, so we got this awesome campsite. It's really, really small. Um, but because there was a attack and stuff, we can't even set up hammocks and sleep in them. I think we're still gonna set up hammocks anyway and just like chill for the day or some of the day. But this handle doesn't work even a little bit. Perfect little spot to chill out Ugh, for the night at least. It was super lucky that uh, uh, for one that we got change and for another that I got out as much money as I did because I was like five dollars Close to like not having enough um, So yeah, that was really close. But anyway now that we got this um, Now that we got this all nailed down got it reserved because it's first come first serve obviously um, We're gonna go check out Moraine Lake and Possibly Louise Lake Louise. We're not totally sure yet. Uh, we kind of need to come up with a plan Um but yeah, we'll see. It's only like two o'clock or one o'clock. It's not late at all. It's amazing. I am abundantly happy right now. The air is just so clean. It feels so good to be outside. I've been kind of stuck in the car for a little while. And, and, how often do you get to see, or how often do you get to camp where you have this kind of 360 view? Awesome mountains over there. No mountains there. It's totally fine though. You can't really see it, but this whole stretch right here is just covered in like snowy mountains and stuff. It is just beautiful. Absolutely incredible. It is just, oh, I love Canada so much. Uh, I'm not sure what we're gonna do yet. Wes, do you know what we're gonna do yet? Okay, we should probably figure that out. All right, we, that's really dark. We're gonna head to Moraine Lake and go to the coffee shop that is sitting there by the lake. Um, and chillax, I need Wi-Fi because having a little bit of a disaster with Amazon business right now. Um, and that's basically it. Gonna grab some cool pictures and then come back here and chill. It's gonna be awesome. All right, so here's the deal. We kind of got lost <laughs> and ended up at Lake Louise. So yeah, since we're here, I guess we might as well check it out. The lighting is looking really good, actually. Also, we're still lost. I'm not even sure what path this is, if it even takes us there, but we'll find out.
Okay, now don't worry, that sign didn't say we can't hike, it just said it wasn't recommended. So, we're uh, getting off the beaten path here in a little bit. Oh, wow. Oh, it! Let's try not to fall and break ourselves. First of all, that is amazing. Second of all, that is more amazing. <laughs> Hold it! This should totally be part of the trail. Dude, there's like glaciers and stuff up there. That is awesome. This is why you get off the beaten path, people. Go to the places that most tourists never go to and you will get the best photos. Well, not the best photos, but at least at least when people see your photos on, on Instagram, it won't be like, ugh, I've seen that photo like a thousand times because that's always what people recreate. So, yeah. Anyway, that's just my thoughts on it. I didn't realize there was like a mountain right next to us. Yeah. I never said, but this is a Fairview Lookout, I believe it's called, in case you wanted to come here yourself. Because, wow, this is, this is stunning. Hold it. That is like the bluest <laughs> water. Oh man. You guys seriously cannot grasp the massiveness of this thing. <laughs> this is insane. Oh my word. Like, wow. Also, we're gonna keep going around that way. Hopefully get some really cool pictures that no one else gets. Well, this is about as far as this trail is gonna go. You can see some people did climb like all the way up there. You can see like the marks where they etched their way through and probably went all the way around to that side of the lake. But um, yeah, not our best move, most likely, <laughs> with tons of camera gear. But check this out, like seriously. This is just testament to what I was saying earlier. Like, look at this view. Like you've got an awesome little trough shooting down there. There's canoers. Mountains in the background, like I've never seen anybody take this picture before. I'm sure people do, don't get me wrong, but it's still really cool. Cause like, in your mind, you kind of have the idea of what the photo is you want to take, but it's really cool to come to a brand new spot and just like completely create something from scratch, you know? Like, ah, oh, that is so awesome. I can't get wide enough. That's amazing. So just for reference, we were, hold on, we were there. Look where that little rock slide is. Go all the way over here to there. Just in case, yeah, just in case you were wondering kind of like the route we took, I highly recommend going up there first and then coming around. Um, I don't know why, it's just, it felt a little bit more natural or something. <laughs> but yeah, it was really cool with this huge mountain behind it. The pictures were really cool. Hold the phone. I really hope some of those photos and videos come like a tiny bit close to capturing how insanely beautiful that was. Like, yeah. There's like no way to even describe it. <laughs> it's just incredible. Anyway, we are completely whooped, so we are gonna go to the campsite and um, spend the night there and then hit Moraine Lake bright and early. It's gonna be awesome, so see you then.